We've, we need to catch up in person too. <laughs> we do. And um, we, at the original solstice at Uluru, we were both there in person, which was wonderful. And, it was um, the best ever. Yeah, that's where we kind of got to really bond and meet each other, hey? <laughs> yes. And yes. Um, and you were the, here with us co-streaming um, for the solstice, last, the last solstice as well. So... It's, yeah, it's been great. We've been together in one way or another each solstice. We have done lots of shows together. You and Steve are just mm. magical. And, uh, yeah, so blessed to be part of this. And thank you for all you're doing and to Omar as well and, and everyone else. It's, yeah, what an epic event. Well, I'll, I'll let you do your thing and um, I'm looking forward to it. So let's just see. I just want to get these slides up if possible, Evan. Can you see my slides? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there they go. Yep. That technology is incredible, isn't it? When it Amazing. works, because I've already gone for it not working this morning. <laughs> so I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about today, but being solstice, I, I feel like it's important that we talk about the solar flares. We have had 30 solar flares in the last three days. So I know people, you know, some people listening will know a lot about the flares and other people may not have heard of them at all. Uh, but essentially, we are the embodiment of these solar flares. We are the microcosm of, of anything that's uh, being displayed macrocosmically for us. And in this sense, we're really wanting to attune ourselves to the energy of our divine Ra portal. Ra, of course, uh, the ancient Egyptians would always pay their reverence to beautiful Ra. And it's the way I've been shown psychically, Ra is a, uh, a portal that streams through pure source code energy or the Sapphire Christos energy. And it comes down in a way through the Ra portal that's digestible uh, for us to be able to take that frequency in as earthlings. Otherwise, it would certainly fry our circuits if we were to just get a blast um, direct from source code. So Ra kind of tempers that uh, energy coming through. But what's happening uh, is unprecedented amounts of solar flares. Uh, this brings in uh, the pure gamma rays into our collective energy field. We have a sense that the sun is making love to the earth. It, it, we are the earth energy. We are, as I said, that microcosmic force. It can't be separate from us. And so we are really being engulfed at the moment in the pure pace, pulsation of the source code energy. And it sounds on the surface level like it's a lot of fun and uh, in, a, in the sense of it bringing us uh, closer to the ascension gateway that's available on mass for everyone as we come to the end of this uh, particular galactic cycle this particular epoch of time uh, we need that assistance from the ra portal from the source code pulsing us with that energy uh, really helping us to upgrade our dna but it gets wobbly and unstable for us as that pure pulsation comes through so we see the source code as the the pure fusion of feminine masculine the the atomic fusion we can break that down into atom or atom uh, that breaks down further into the tum tum which is our drum our heartbeat again the pulsation bliss waves coming through from that pure creative source uh, the, the creative energy is blasting through us in unprecedented amounts at this time. Uh, so what we're finding, and I really love listening to Barry because it really synced up with where I see us going in 2023, and in particular that we are all needing to step into our leadership positions right now. We cannot afford to play the small eye. We cannot afford to uh, not claim our soul at this time, because if we do not claim our soul, if we do not get in sync and in touch with that pure atomic fusion, the, the, the true source code, the at on the at home that is our home that is where we're all moving back to we've come out of the galactic dark night of the soul earth is lined up with the galactic center so we are streaming in source light in a way that we never have before and it's very important that we claim that that is who we are we cannot ever be separate from god goddess all that is and so as we we claim who we are we may feel that we're being a little bit grandiose at times to do that but that is how we unplug from the false matrix, 
from the rules out there, from the force field that says that we need a saviour out here in this 3D hologram. Absolutely untrue. We are here to save ourselves. And Evan, if you're still listening, you know, you teach us that all the time. You often bring in through the Hopi teachings and that reminder that we are the ones we have been waiting for. And so as we connect through to the source code, we come home, we come om at om, we come home at home to ourselves. We've always been there. It resides deep in the heart center. It's nowhere else to be found. And, uh, in that instant, we, we wonder how we ever forgot who we were. We un- wonder how we ever came into this dimension with such extreme soul amnesia. But, of course, that was part of the script that we collectively created. We created this script to fall from grace, so to speak, to become the opposite of our loving, joyous, peaceful self so we could experience contrast, so we could know the horror and the depravity and the shame and all of these lower density vibrations that are experienced here in the 3D and the 4D, their polarity realms, we experience the good and the evil. Now, when I say evil, that too is not wrong. And that's something that the 3D mind finds very difficult to wrap around because, well, of course, there's so much treachery here. Of course, to the 3D mind, it's wrong. But to the higher self, the higher mind, the collective universal frequency that we're all a part of, There is nothing going wrong here. It's all part of the soul continuum, all part of having a precise point of attention on this continuum of consciousness. And at this particular time, we have just come out of experiencing the opposite of our true love nature and we're moving back home again. So assisted by the solar flares, um, for some of you, if you don't know uh, the solar flares, come in via the sun they come in through different ways solar storms solar winds geomagnetic storms there's different uh class flares if you like we know when we're being hit by the big uh, m or x class flares these are the days where you really have no choice but to lay down you must sleep at this time uh trance naps are really important siestas uh sleeping at any time is important doesn't matter what time zone you're in where, wherever you find yourself if these flares are coming in it generally will cause you to need to shut down your operating system, knowing that as the sentient human, you have the highest technology in all of the galaxy. You are at the top tier of the galactic game as the sentient human being, and you have a very advanced operating system. Now, for that operating system to get an upgrade supported by the solar flares, you must shut down in order for that upgrade to happen. Same as what you'd switch off your computer or do a reboot or reinstallment. It's really the same process. So what happens, of course, is that the technology uh, always mirrors the innate divine intelligence or the innate divine technology that we carry within ourselves. So a lot of what we see in technology when we talk about going from offline to online. It's the same thing within our operating system. So our DNA was offline. We were down to two strands of DNA. The solar flares come in. They help us to come online to the 12 strands of DNA. So we're really upgrading the operating system within ourselves at this time. So as those flares come in, just know that you're probably going to need to sleep more. You may feel that you ha- are sick. Um, you're not sick. You're just upgrading. Um, and you you may feel emotionally very off. And so go with those emotions. Go with the anger. Go with the sorrow. Go with the need to, to cry and to sob. Don't chastise yourself because the 3D false matrix will try to keep you soldiering along like a happy little being that they've fed this illusion that you're meant to be. Not true. You're here to experience the ocean of emotion. You're here to dive deep into self and experience just what is. There can be no wrong to your inner scapes. Absolutely, you are perfection plus. And so just being with self, being authentic is your key, your golden ankh, your way through. 
into that RAR portal and back to the source code, back to our atom, our at home. That is where we're going. So fascinating uh, because it, it's, it really syncs up with what's going on at the moment with the solstice, of course, is uh, we, we often perceive that Earth is a moving galactic spaceship uh, with shields that open every solstice and equinox. So this is the Earth's magnetosphere. It's uh, very, very powerful. And again, we're looking microcosm, macrocosm. So, of course, uh, we too have personal shields that we can put up. And this is what we're finding as we claim our God, Goddess self here, having this human experience, that we too can thwart any dark side attacks that are going on because that's what's happening in the 3D and the 4D. This is the realm of polarity. We're going to attract the ultimate opponent and we need to because that is how we activate our supernatural powers without that ultimate opponent we are not going to rise in consciousness we are not going to recode our dna back to those 12 strands of dna and then ultimately and and this would be another talk we will come online into the 144 infinite helix of dna that's back when you're in the source code again we can't bring that energy in too quickly again it would fry our circuitry our spiritual circuitry so it's steady as she goes uh but just remember you have shields as well just like earth and that you can put them up whenever you feel this frequency coming in if you're in a city area and you're in that bad soup of an electromagnetic frequency coming off those uh and i'll, I'll be careful omar of the words that i use in this uh, broadcast, um, but we'll talk about the, the fake frequency towers that they're pinging into uh, humans in different ways that the dark side will uh, want to thwart your personal mission. So you have the power to stand up to those forces. You put your shields up. Uh, remember, there's big portals are open right now with our solstice. Uh, that means lots of heightened energy is coming in for us. But, of course, the dark metaphysicians will use the portal as well to attempt, anyway, I'm not saying they're going to succeed, attempt to shut down that heightened energy that's coming in. So you add to that frequency. You get up into the astral planes at this time. You go in there via your imagination. The astral plane is the energetic representation of what's happening here in the 3D. So you get up into the imaginary, imaginary realms and you start playing with the energy and you start announcing who you are, claiming your soul power, saying, I do not consent to anything that is not in alignment with the source code, that is not in alignment with love, joy and peace. And you shield up to any of these dark side attacks. We know these dark side attacks have been coming, well, a long time, but hey, if you're not awakened to it in the last couple of years, you've possibly we're living under a rock you know we have to get on board with this oppositional force that's coming at us not to make it uh that we're a victim we're certainly not a victim we are here to use that as a platform into our supernatural self so yeah absolutely perfect someone's put in here and has put on the full armor of god i won't read the rest of it but that's absolutely perfect i love that so much that's exactly what it is so good so uh the end of days prophecy, this is very, very interesting. Many of you would have heard about this uh, and it coincides with what these flares are about. So, you know, many years ago you could track the solar flares that only come up every, every few years. It would go in an 11-year cycle. So what is actually going on right now where we've had 30 flares in the last three days? How are we as human beings meant to embody this energy? How can we utilise it for our highest good? And how can we marry this up with the end of days prophecy that we've seen in different traditions and uh, know that we are being supported? This is not here to wipe us out, but it is here to expose any darkness what does light do it exposes darkness you go into a dark room you light a candle turn on the light the darkness no longer exists so we need we need this heightened frequency pulsation of light coming through us at this time and uh what will be found is that there's the transmutation so transmutation meaning moving from that that darkness into light we do it at the microcosmic level to affect the hologram out there so our shadow comes to the fore we are aware that we may be clearing some karmic patterns i've had lady justice 
coming through me psychically for a little while now. And she's showing me the balance of the scales. She's showing me how karma, which is not a negative thing, by the way, it's just pure balance. It's pure uh, bringing, bringing the, the, the two contrasted or polarity sides together into oneness. When they come together into oneness, that creates the ascension portal through the middle. We can never ascend being at the end of the spectrums of the polarity. We can only ascend when the polarities collapse and come together as one. So this is what's happening for us. You will have to be, uh, I, I want to say paying karma, but that again makes it negative. You will be balancing karma. And you will be therefore in its positive polarity, you will be reaping all of the divine rewards of all the seeds that you have sown. That's the other side of karma. We often think it's just the negative side, the negative balancing, but it's the positive balancing as well. It's reaping the divine rewards. It's bringing in to the 3D now all of the seeds and the name of this whole show is Seed Dreaming. All of the seeds that you have planted because you are a divine human being, you, you work for love. All of those seeds that you have planted are now being manifested. They're anchoring for you and they will be harvested for you, meaning you will enjoy the fruits of your labor. And it's, it's so powerful. It's so beautiful. And please pat yourself on the back right now because you wouldn't be here listening to this broadcast if you were not one of those divine beings who works for love. And uh, that's your highest title. That's who you are. And uh, you are so seen and celebrated by the entire galaxy and, and your own personal galactic posse who are a group of angels and mystics and ascended masters and, and also the Devic realm, the elvens, and, and the whole gambit of who is streaming through you as you but in different archetypal forms as we do this uh, multidimensional shift in consciousness. It's absolutely powerful. So with the uh, end of day's prophecy, just know uh, that you are not being punished here at all. Uh, you will see the relinquishing of energies that no longer serve our highest good. You will also see many souls that are choosing to exit uh, the earth at this time and it is supported by the flares it's not a negative thing even though there will be grief on mass for many as souls start to exit uh, we do need to make peace with that and uh, we just know it's a rebalancing energy cannot be destroyed there is no death it simply just changes form so we have to make peace with what's going on for many souls at the moment as they make their way, you know, into possibly another third dimensional uh, cycle, another galactic round in the 3D because that is what their soul needs. It requires it. It's a perfect experience for their earth school lessons or for their 3D school lessons. So we, we don't make that wrong. But I've already moved on to the next uh, slide here, which uh, – you know, again, I've spoken about ascension is coupled with heightened bliss. We love those spaces. Uh, of course, the grief um, over the loss of our 3D reality, so people who are moving on, but also the way things are changing. You know, the way we, we hear that term a lot, oh, when things get back to normal. Well, of course, we all know, anyone listening here, there's no such thing. We're not going back to normal and nor do we want to. But that doesn't mean we don't grieve over the way things were, over the way that we were even um, hoodwinked into following the masters out there, meaning the governments or whoever it might be, the elites. Uh, I say elites in inverted commas, of course. We could probably call them parasites, right? Um, so, you know, but sometimes we have to have a little grieving process. Like, oh, I thought that's the way life was and, and the government was looking after me. And it's like, no, really, actually, I'm here to save self, but I grieve over what has been and I step up anew into the new way. The mastery lies within me. I am the master. I am the healer. I am the one I've been waiting for. So this, this process of letting go of the old and then stepping into that, that really heightened grandiosity and its most perfected way that you are that, you are source code. It's so, so powerful. So we're letting go of attachments, old habits. You know, if you've got some addictions still going on, please make peace with it. Don't chastise yourself. Know that it just supported you. You needed something to get through this 3D realm that felt like a friend. 
you still smoke, if you still maybe have too many glasses of wine or whatever it is that you do, but you know, you know, it's not really serving you, but it's been a friend for you. You have grief as you let all of that go. Uh, food intolerances, vertigo, emotional swings, craving change, lucid dreams, soul weariness, all part of the ascension symptoms with this heightened solar activity. Uh, so as much as we love it and we welcome it, and of course, you know, for many of us in our language, we really do say, I just want to go home, you know, bring in the mothership. I'm done with this realm. Uh, when these things are going on, we want to get out of here. If possible at those times to say, I'm okay. I'm okay. I can do this. I can get my bare feet on the ground. I can ground this energy through my holy vessel, through my conduit. I can be of service to my brothers and sisters as this process goes on. And I can withstand the destabilizing effects as it all starts to uh, stream through me and I can actually choose to stay here on earth because I don't want to miss out on the galactic party that's going to actually happen on earth I want to be here for that kind of like what Evan was referring to before with our uh, Uluru uh, ceremony a couple of years ago well I would never have wanted to miss out on that so we, we, we kind of got to hang around haven't we and, and just know that uh as prophecy has told us, we're, and the fairy tales tell us, we're, we're no doubt going to have about a thousand years embodied in the fifth dimension. It's going to look exactly like the third dimension, but well upgraded. And it's an unconditional love realm. And a thousand years uh, in that space, being able to still being embodied is, is such a gift because when you're embodied, you get to make love. When you're embodied, you get to taste the fruits of of. of Gaia, you know, you get to have those mangoes that are dripping down, <laughs> dripping down your chin. If you're in Australia, they're out at the moment. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, you uh, you would have your own version of of what it is that gives you that experience of being embodied and that lushness and that 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 deep sensuality that we can only have when we're embodied. You know, we don't want to throw out the three lower chakras either. You know, we often think, oh, I'm going to rise up to the heart and get into the higher chakras, but the three lower chakras serve such a powerful purpose for us as well because it's the embodiment we want to feel deeply we want to have a flesh experience but we are done with the depravity now we're moving into that heightened unconditional love frequency and it's it's just so joyous it's so powerful it'll give you goosebumps just even considering it and and we're meant to be visualizing it we're meant to be imagining it because that's how we're anchoring it again we go up into that 4d realm through the imaginative portal and we anchor it down because we're that powerful we've claimed who we are we are the commander of reality we are the manifester we are the master we are the healer we are doing this individually but we are doing it as one united, beautiful uh, team love across the planet. And it's just so divine. So I have mentioned this as well already, of course, and uh, about the 12 strand DNA and 12, uh, the galactic 12 chakra upgrade. So there are chakras um, that go above that seventh crown or Sarasrara chakra that we uh, often talk about. Once we start switching on those divine portals, uh, it's easier to stream through the higher conscious codes that are coming in. Uh, everyone's psychic abilities have gone next level. You're finding there's a lot of synchronicities happening between you and, and your friends or even strangers that you don't know but you may be friends with on a social media portal and they say something and you're like, I just got that high code. That came through me as well in meditation or there was a synchronicity that happened that married up with a high code. So that's that's the, the God-Goddess realms reminding you that you do live within magic like our original people here in Australia always teach us we live within magic. Do not shut yourself down at that time. Do not go into the 3D false matrix that says, oh, that's all woo-woo. It's absolutely real. The sinks are coming in to remind you it is real. Trust yourself. Trust that imaginative self. Trust the mystical realms. Even when you think you're making it up and you're in a dialogue, we'll say, I'm making this up. Just remember, no, you're not. No, you're not. This is coming from a high source code and you are part of that. You cannot be separate. You are meant to trust the codes that are coming in. You don't need to research. You don't 
need to analyze it. You just trust it and keep moving forward because as we gather speed here in the hologram where we're not wasting time going around all these loops that we used to do, having to, you know, go prove that with science or this expert said that or, oh, well, I don't know, you know, someone else knows more than me. No, we're, we're done with those days. We are now trusting self. We're accelerating through the hologram so that we are speeding up the manifestation of the golden age of Gaia. We must support Gaia at this time. She cannot not ascend. So who's going with her? Who are the earthling inhabitants that are going with her? I know it's you. So let's just trust self and keep moving forward through these uh, powerful days ahead. So uh, what's happening for us, of course, we're moving from lead to gold, carbon to crystalline or Christ align. Uh, even our blood plasma is turning into light plasma. I've noticed for many people uh, you're seeing their eyes becoming crystalline, meaning their eyes are starting to glow and sparkle at a whole new level. This is an indication of that crystalline or crystalline energy that's coming through. So just make, just be aware of that in yourself, um, in your friends that are also, you know, really doing the deep inner transmutation at the moment. You'll see, you'll see that change in their inner coding system. Yeah, it's really powerful. So glowing auras and all of those sorts of things uh, is all part of it. So for all of us here, we are the grid workers. Uh, we are the ones, we talk about the crystalline energy within, but of course, the crystalline, crystalline energy is the dragon lines, song lines, ley lines of Mother Earth. And we act as cosmic node points as humans. We are transducing these solar codes through our own conduit. They come in via those high galactic chakras. They come in and they're felt within us. They can destabilize us as they shake through and remove the blockages. Uh, but ultimately, they come out through the soles of our feet. So it's really, really important that we have bare feet on the ground every single day. If you're in a cold climate and it's just simply too cold to get the bare feet on the ground, what you can do is when you go out for your walks, even if you're not out for long, just wrap your arms around a tree. So tree hugging, you know, as, as funny as it sounds because <laughs> that's what the hippies do, but, hey, we're the hippies, we're the modern-day hippies. Uh, tr hug tree so you can anchor that energy down. It will go down through the crystalline grid of Mother Earth earth and it gets uploaded by the collective so this is one of your highest service points to your brothers and sisters it's just to always be getting that sun energy source energy every day coming down through your crown chakra traveling down through your meridian map uh your chakra map uh all the energy systems within you out through the souls s-o-l-e-s -E but also s-o-u-l-s souls of the feet and it's uploaded by your brothers and sisters. So you're sourcing highest codes and that is helping the collective upgrade. As well too, as sometimes, and for me yesterday, I, I felt really off. Um, the solar flares were coming in. It was really destabilizing me. I went out for a walk and I knew I needed help from my brothers and sisters. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not downloading today. Today I'm uploading. So sometimes you're just there receiving. You're out there on the on the earth and you're uploading the codes because you know there's some good things that will come up not just from the heavens uh down from the heavens but up from the earth as well we've got to get in connection with nature uh we've been sold a dummy that the answers are somewhere else other than through the source code and nature they're not they're not and they will come through and they will be transcoded into a language or a feeling or a sign or a synchronicity that makes sense for you and that's what's powerful. That's why you have to trust your own inner codes and knowing above and beyond anything. So the great solar flash event, what I personally learned in the astral from doing hours of astral missions is that there will indeed be a bifurcation of timelines, uh, meaning, and I referenced it before, many souls, and we're seeing them exit the planet. Steve Strong um, has spoken about this for a long time, and, and he's just such a wealth of of pure source information, how uh, many will have to go onto another third dimensional planet. It'll, it'll be a copycat, no doubt, of how Earth looks. They may not even realise it's anything completely different um, because really 
there's no anywhere in the galaxy. There's only spheres of consciousness. It seems like we're in a solid realm when we're really not. Um, it's just consciousness vibrating. That's all that it is. So for others who are doing the inner transmutation, you know, who are serving their brothers and sisters with love, they will move into that uh, fifth dimensional uh, planetary system and uh, that will be the thousand-year golden age of Gaia. But what I was shown in the astral was that the remaining body of Earth, once that bifurcation, that split of planetary systems takes place, that uh, the solar flash, and this is what we refer to the end of day's prophecy, the solar flash will come in and it will clear away the dross the negativity, the depravity, all of the torture, all of the, the pain, all of the, the very evil that has been operating, that solar flash, but we will have already migrated by that point in consciousness. So we won't be here to experience any fallout per se, but there will be that soul, final solar flash event that will uh, transmute in its higher sense the, the dross, uh, the, the pure evilness that has been operating uh, here in the Earthscape. And I was shown that the reason that's important is because everything is data. So there's there's data available in the galaxy. The dark siders want to tap into that particular data. They could reinvent those same depravity cycles. So that solar flash is, is very, very important just to clear away um, all of that data so it's just not available anymore because, boy, did we you know, fall from grace. All perfect, all meant to be, but certainly not easy while you're having a 3D human experience. So this uh, picture is a everyone's, well, not everyone, but many people are showing these kind of images on their social media, how our sun is now appearing to many. Uh, we are being welcomed home. Again, see it as a portal, go through the rainbow portal, through the Ra portal, and welcome home, rainbow tri uh, tribe. You've done so well. Pat yourself on the back. You're absolutely divine. You're absolutely just so beautiful in, in all of your, in all of your uh, just magnificent ways you know if you're not giving yourself love at the moment remember you are the highest technology in the galaxy you have the gift of feeling it doesn't feel like a gift sometimes you know when we're in the in the emotions that that have us gnashing our teeth and pulling out our hair but the gift is there because without that gift of feeling you won't feel the heightened cosmic bliss and that's where we're headed right now so only good times ahead I believe I'm at time so uh, we'll wrap it up there but uh, for anyone who wants to I've just started a group called the Lightworkers Lounge we'll be doing uh, group astral journeys together as well as a weekly show with a beautiful friend of mine Ryan Parks um, but we'll also be doing, you know, how to meet your galactic tribe. If you need some refinement at the moment to get up into those higher echelons of dimensions, come and join the Lightworkers Lounge for free on Facebook uh, for anyone who may be wanting to train with me, whether it be in the healing arts or the yoga arts, you can have a look at myhealthyoga.com. Thank you so much, everyone. Love you all. I'm kind of seeing the comments here and there. Just so powerful, so beautiful, so amazing, you guys absolutely get it so awesome stuff carrie yep oh. i was on the edge of my seat <laughs> and, hey, um, hey steve hi and, and nice reference to the hoppy uh, prophecy as well <laughs> uh, you've, uh, you've both taught us so much we just steal what you teach us and go and I go help you yourself. Talk about yeah. somewhere else. well you know then that's that's how we do it. We all work off each other and then spread the word and then everyone can hear what's going on. Yeah. Love it. So thank you so much. Much love to you both.